Hello Carning friends, today I am going to transplant my Cherokee purple seedlings. The three of them, I had put in three seeds, all of them germinated. These are from Baker Creek and I had sowed them on 26th of August 2015. And two of these germinated first and this one was a bit late and that is why it is a bit smaller than the other two. When I uh, sowed the seeds, I used my tea and coffee compost that I make especially for uh, germinating seeds and I avoid all the fruit and vegetable scraps so that there are no seeds that germinate along with the seeds that I have sowed. So there is a mixture of tea coffee compost and uh, coconut coil and vermiculite in this. Now it's almost two weeks and these guys are starting to look a bit tall so I thought I should transplant them. Now what I use for the next stage is this is my mixture of homemade uh, compost and worm castings. I'll just remove these leaves from this. And then in this cup I have a mixture of different composted manures. Cow manure, horse manure, chicken manure, uh, vegetable matter and uh, leaf mold and all of this is available at my plant nursery so I'm really happy to have this one so I'm going to mix this and then my coconut coir sometimes I use vermiculite but today I'm not going to be using any vermiculite because I want more of the nutrition in the ratio if I added vermiculite then the nutrition the compost and the manure part would go down so it's all of these now while choosing the cups what I do is instead of using this smaller cup I use a bigger size transparent cup and then I fill it only up till half and then as the seedling grows stronger I just backfill this container with more potting mix instead of transplanting it yet again so I just skip that step and then if I need to transplant it again I'll put it into a bigger pot like this one excuse the hammering there's some work going on in the neighboring building now uh, these cups are <coughs> takeaway coffee cups and I make holes in these by uh, heating a fork like this one over the flame and then I just make the holes. It's very quick. This is what I've done. Now I'll just pre-moisten this and I've done the same for this bottle as well. It's just easy to water the seedlings and stuff. Mix it up pre-moisten. Fill up the cups halfway, and after I put the potting mix in, the mistake I did last year was I forgot to press this down. So there were air pockets, and the seedlings weren't able to develop roots nicely. So this way, and then when I want to put the seedling and I'll just make a hole with my finger or use a pencil sometimes. Now for the seedlings. I have watered these uh, half an hour ago so the soil is moist. Use the back of the fork. Just loosen up everything. And just try and pick out this seedling without breaking the root. Let me see how that goes. Ok, 
Okay. There's some heavy stuff here. I just try to remove that. Okay. So here it is. And now I'll just put this side like this. And gently press it down. And because the seedling is tall, I'm just going to add some more of the potting mix to bury half of the stem. And then when I want to water this, I'm just going to place it in a dish and bottom water it so that I don't uh, rot the stem on top. Sometimes if I over water from the top, what happens is before the roots can develop from the hair, the tiny hairs that you can see, the stem begins to rot. So I always like to bottom water this. So that just the roots get water and then as the seedling settles down uh, the roots will start forming here and once the stem becomes thicker what I'll do is I'll add more compost and fill it right to the top. So then I skip this stage, this cup and I go directly to this one and then if need be I go to this one. So it's 1st of October 2015 today and I'm ready to up-pot these Cherokee purple seedlings yet again. And while they were in these cups, I made the mistake of overwatering, and you can see the stem over here. It almost died but then luckily for me it didn't. The smaller seedling that was there, it succumbed to the overwatering. Anyway, so now this is the bigger cup that I have prepared for it and I this season I'm going to be labeling all my containers like this with the brown tape. So I put the name and the first date is when I sowed the seed and then the next date is the first of potting and then today is 1st of October so this is for the for today's date and then I have my mix the first one is the in-house compost and vermicompost and the second one is the coconut coir that has been rehydrated and the third one is the ready-made compost that I purchased as I mentioned last time it's a mix of different type of manures and plant and vegetable refuse so it's a whole wholesome mix and since it's October it's got very hot so the coconut coir will help to keep the mix moist now I've chosen this container because this cup fits in nicely and then there is more room to fill up a little bit more so first I'm going to just remove this seedling from this cup. The roots have formed nicely. Nice root formation here. And what I'll do is I will just place it right at the bottom of this container here like this and then just start filling it up yes. so using a slightly taller container I'll be able to bury the plant a little bit more Press it down so that there are no air pockets. Just place this container over a plate like this and bottom water it nicely. And 
now for the second seedling. Again, it's labeled with all the three dates. in the container like this and backfill it. So this size container is going to provide enough nutrition to ready to plant these Cherokee purples in their final spot. So here they are, both the seedlings have been up potted to the next container and then their final destination will be in the large container that I have prepared for them. Thank you so much for watching.